How much money can you make on a $100 million private equity transaction? Let's break down an LBO to its simplest components to find out. This company has cash flow of $10 million and we're going to purchase it for 10 times cash flow, giving us an acquisition purchase price of $100 million. We're going to fund the acquisition with $50 million of equity and $50 million of debt. The debt will be paid off in five years. In this exercise, we have two cash flow scenarios and the first cash flow remains flat. We will come back to scenario two, but we need a formula that can help us choose between the two. Excel appropriately created a function named equal choose for this purpose. This column will be for debt service. We're going to ignore interest expense, why not dream a little, and use $10 million to pay down debt each year. Any additional cash will flow into this column. Here we have our very simple balance sheet with the accounting equation across the top. Recall that the balance sheet is just a formal presentation of the accounting equation. Assets will grow in each period by the amount of excess cash. Liabilities, which is just the amount of outstanding debt, will be paid down by $10 million in each period. And stockholders' equity is equal to assets minus liabilities. And check this out. Because we've paid off debt in the final period, stockholders' equity is equal to the value of the company's assets. Next, let's look at returns. Enterprise value in the exit year is equal to the product of cash flow in the final year and our exit multiple of 10 times. Equity value is equal to enterprise value plus cash on the balance sheet less debt. So we have equity invested of $50 million and equity at exit of $100 million for an MOIC of two times and an IRR of roughly 15%. But what if the company grows? Let's go back to cash flow scenario number two and grow cash flow by $2 million in each year. Update the scenario running through the model and boom, equity at exit doubles to $200 million making your return profile much more exciting. But here's the thing. You bought a company that wasn't growing, and you're selling one that is growing. So the market might reward you with a higher exit multiple of, let's say, 12 times. Boom, more monies. The simple conclusion, if you buy one company at the right price with appropriate leverage and grow it, it can change your life.